Hi trainers, I've been playing Mammoth Swine all morning today, trying out different movesets and builds and with that, I wanted to make a video talking about Mammoth Swine's balance and if it's worth buying at the moment. This is a very early balance discussion. I personally feel that one day is not quite enough to have a complete understanding on how good Mammoth Swine is at the moment, but this is just my experience so far and I know a lot of you probably are like, hold on to your coins, wondering if it's worth buying Mammoth Swine at the moment. I'm Teets, I played Mobus for over 9 years and I'm in Master Rank and my goal is to help you become the very best like no one ever was. I'm also doing a giveaway for Mammoth Swine which ends tomorrow, the link to that is on the pinned comment down below. Okay, Mammoth Swine costs 8,000 coins and I think around 460 gems or maybe 470 from what I remember. So I played Mammoth Swine in jungle as a defender, as an all-rounder, and here is my conclusion with Mammoth Swine. I also have the gameplays linked down below too if you'd like to see. And please feel free to add your own thoughts about this because I want this to be a discussion where it can be open and we can all hear like, you know, everyone's opinions because it's great to have insights from all different kind of players. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. So here's what I like about Mammoth Swine. It has a ton of crowd control, it has freezes, knockbacks, stuns, just a whole lot of crowd control. It also has a ton of area moves as well, which is massive in team fights. So I find Mammoth Swine to be fantastic for team fights, and it also has pretty decent setup. It also deals pretty good damage, and I find myself being able to tank damage well too. I didn't find myself like dying too often, but it still happened. I don't find myself as tanky as Blast Toys or Snorlax. I was just able to tank enough to be able to deal the damage, which was nice. The issue I have with Mammoth Swine currently is that I feel that it's too clunky. Some moves do not feel like super smooth, and I also find it sometimes a bit slow. Some moves just feel heavy and slow, and I feel that like it can be easy to counter. Take Horsepower, for example. Two hours later. I find that sometimes enemies were able to get out of the circle at the end because it does have a bit of an animation time. And it's not just this move, a lot of its moves have like a lot of animation time and I just think that's really easy to predict in team fights. So that's the issue that I have with Mammoth Swine at the most, I guess. Mammoth Swine also has incredibly long cooldowns too and I think it could use a buff on reducing the cooldowns of some moves in my opinion in comparison to other defenders. I do think that Mammoth Swine is weaker than Snorlax and Blastoise currently. To be fair, in that regard, Blast Voice's release is incredibly strong and I do think that release was way too strong because the damage was insane and it was so tanky. I think Mammoth Swine actually could use a bit of a buff, just a bit, but otherwise I feel that it's rounded out pretty well. I do find that it does not have carry potential like Blast Voice, and I feel like it's very team reliant so it may not be the best to solo within rank in my opinion. A nice thing about Mammoth Swine is that it does not feel weak early game. It actually feels like it's early to mid game is stronger than late game despite it being a Pokemon that levels up late and it gets its upgrades like way later. I know it sounds like a lot of cons, don't get me wrong, I find Mammoth Swine to be extremely fun to use and I enjoyed all of my games that I played with it today but I did feel that when my teammates weren't doing super well it was very hard to try and come back from my games. The damage of Mammoth Swine didn't feel very bursty, it did have its moments where I felt like I was doing a lot of damage but also at the same time it's just like it wasn't reliant enough to be able to carry those games. I don't regret buying Mammoth Swine but you should definitely try it in practice mode first before committing. My personal favorite moveset is Ice Fang and Earthquake or Ice Fang and High Horsepower. If you like a Pokemon with a ton of crowd control, lots of area moves and has decent damage and tankiness, Mammoth Swine may just be the one for you. But I do think it needs some tweaking with its animation timing and cooldowns for sure so you can hold on to your coins for now if you want to see how and if they balance it in the future. With that, I would love to hear about Mammoth Swine's balance at the moment on your end. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'll also be uploading an updated tier list next when Mammoth Swine's release. Subscribe and click the bell to be notified. Liking the video would also really help me out. Thank you so much for watching trainers. Bye!